Hi guys, I hope you're all really, really well. Listen, I want to introduce to you a wonderful chef, one of Ireland's best and most rustic cooks that I really admire, and he's going to do me a favour. He's going to give you guys the most amazing St. Patrick's recipe for all of you lovely people around the world that are celebrating St. Patrick's Day. This recipe is inspired by his mum, it's delicious, and I know he's going to give you a little bit of heart and soul and want to make you cook it. So John, over to you brother, and everyone, enjoy St. Patrick's Day. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much, Jamie, for having me on your channel. My name is John Relahan, and in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to be cooking a most amazing dish, which is Irish bacon and cabbage. One of the reasons why I love bacon and cabbage is because my mother used to cook it for me when I was a kid. The turf, the wood, the aroma in the room with the bacon in the pot, the bubbling of the cabbage and the potatoes. This was my childhood. I'm doing it with my twist, which is outside over the fire. So one of the key things with the fire, which I love, is the sound of it. It's like the comfort, it's the warmth, it's the security. This is the stuff that I used to love as a kid. The smell in the house as well of the turf, very Irish. The key component of this dish is using the right bacon. What you have here is a beautiful piece of the pork shoulder. Add the hammock in, add so much more flavor. Add that water into the bacon as well. So this is the pot that I have, which is about 90 to 100 years old. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to get in the veg into that water to get all that beautiful flavor going as well. We got a leek, carrots, we got some onion here, and we're going to cut them into larger chunks so they don't fall apart in the water. We're going to throw in two or three cloves of the garlic just to give a nice bit of flavor in there. And then just a little bit of thyme as well. That broth with the bacon that's cooking is so delicious. You got the thyme and you got all the ingredients in there. And it's all about managing the fire as well. So you don't want it too hot to overcook it, to cook it too fast. You want to slow it down a little bit and let it simmer. So what we have is some beautiful golden wonder potatoes. They become really nice and fluffy in the inside. They're really dirty, so we're just gonna give them a good wash. Not a lot of people actually see dirty potatoes these days, because mostly when you buy it, it's from the shop, and they're already washed for you. But nothing better than getting it from the local market, and they're dirty straight from the farmer. Love some spuds. We're gonna smash up the garlic, just break it up. A little bit of beautiful fresh thyme. Just put a good sprinkle of sea salt in there. Put the lid back on and slow boil them in there. So the second most important part of the bacon and cabbage, of course, is the cabbage. So I got some beautiful Savoy cabbage right here. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. It just needs a little bit more time in there. The skin has gone all soft and gelatinous and beautiful. So with a spoon, you just mix that cabbage up in the liquid, just push it in there and about 20 minutes later, cabbage is done. And this is one of my favorite things to do with cabbage. I love this so much. Smoky bacon. So I'm just gonna add the onions inside. Just toss it in there, it's chopped thyme, fresh. And listen to the sound of the bacon as it's cooking. It's magical. And what we're gonna do is add a little bit of butter. That is so amazing, the smell, the aroma where the bacon is coming together with the butter and the thyme and the onion. And that's exactly what the cabbage needs. When it comes out of the water, you strain it off and you whack it straight into that bacon and mix it all up, add a little bit more butter. And that is all about the flavor right there. The sun is about to set and there's nothing better than this, than a good old fashioned bacon and cabbage. <laughs> Dear enough, I think it's the smoke or else it's the emotion. I think it's the emotion to be totally honest with you. I'm just gonna lift this off now and I'm gonna pop it here and I'm gonna take those potatoes out of the water. Look at this, they're so nice. Break them open, a little bit of butter on top and a tiny pinch of sea salt. That's all you need with a good potato. The prize is the bacon and the bacon is ready. Look at this and the fat, it's fallen apart really nicely and I'm just gonna pop it right down here onto the plate. It reminds me of my childhood. This is like, the smell is so amazing with it. It's like my mother cooking for me in the house. I love this so much. 
really do. Look at the ham hock. It's amazing. It's just falling apart. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix this cabbage up and I'm going to add it in here. And it doesn't matter if there's a bit of ham hock on there and a bit of carrot. It's okay. Don't be shy. Just fold it in with the bacon and it's coming together so nicely with the bacon and the onion and the cabbage. Look at the shine. You know this is going to be good. So for the parsley sauce we need some butter, we need the flour, milk, salt and pepper and we need some parsley. Okay so first you just need to add in the butter and then you're going to add the flour and you just mix it really nicely until it softens up and comes together. Once you start adding the milk you just want to add it a little bit slowly and once you start whisking it that sauce is going to have a really nice silky texture to it. Happy simple So you add the parsley inside, give it a good mix. So then we add the sea salt. Then we're going to put in a little bit of the black pepper. Give it a little mix. And that's it. That is the parsley sauce right there. Here we have the beautiful bacon. It's been slow cooked in the liquid with all the carrots and the onion and the leeks. The best thing with the cabbage is it's cooked in the water as well with the bacon so it soaks up all that beautiful flavour. The potato is so simple, just using a great potato. That is the perfect St. Patrick's Day meal right there. Okay, enough chat now. I'm going to dig in to this bacon and cabbage. I'm going to cut some potato and I'm going to put a little bit of the bacon with it, a little bit of the cabbage and... Mmm! Just like my mother's bacon and cabbage.